I saw in the Bible, in the book of Daniel, where the Bible said that Nebuchadnezzar set up a molten image, a golden image, and compared and commanded every man, every tongue, every language, every religion to bow down to that molten image. And that whosoever that did not bow down will die in the process. And the Bible recorded that everybody bowed down to that molten image, image of gold. I began to wonder how come that the whole world bowed down to a molten image even when Nebuchadnezzar was not there. Because somebody can choose to say, I will not bow down to this molten image. I will be inside my room and I pray to God Almighty. But the Bible makes us to understand that everybody bowed down to that golden image. But two, three people refused to bow down. I continue searching, what is the meaning of this golden image that the Bible is talking about? And I find out that it's talking about world. So that is a coded language that compared the whole nations everywhere, anywhere you are, any tribe, even inside your, your kitchen or your bedroom, you bow down to it. And today we have seen it. No wonder Jesus said, you cannot worship God and mammon together. And the, this is the demonic principle. This is the worldly system that set and set up that people can easily compromise their faith in worshiping God. People can easily compromise their faith. And today we are seeing it everywhere. People are bowing down in one way or the other in the name of getting wealth, in the name of getting riches, in the name of having their desire met up. But I want to tell you a child of God that made up your mind to serve God in spirit and truth. I want to tell you that the Bible makes us to understand that the Lord is faithful, who will also uphold you against that day to come. And the Lord is able to provide all your needs. Maybe you are facing challenges today, you are facing trial, you are passing through challenges of life. And the life is telling you to bow down to molten image. Life is telling you to compromise. Life is telling you to do like other people. Life is telling you to do like that unbeliever by your side. Life is telling you to compromise your faith in God. But I want to tell you that Bible said that many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord God Almighty delivered him out of them all. Wherever you are watching me from right now, the Lord God Almighty will sustain you. God will deliver you out of that your problem. Don't compromise. Believe in God. Don't sell your faith because of what you are passing through. The Lord is coming for your rescue. God will see you through. God will take you higher. I am praying for someone here now, hearing the word of God. In the name that is above every other name, the Lord is coming for your rescue. God will not abandon you in the hand of your enemies. God will not leave you to die in your problem. God is so merciful. He understands everything you are passing through. But let me tell you, child of God, your joy has finally come. Today is the day that your problem is over. Your problem, your trial, your problem and your afflictions are coming under judgment now. In the mighty name of Jesus, receive the grace of God. I stretch forth my hands to you right now. Receive the grace of God in the name of Jesus. Receive the grace to overcome and to prevail over all challenges of life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Don't forget to follow me on this Facebook page. Subscribe to my YouTube channel at Anthony Ministry TV. Anthony Ministry TV. May the God Almighty be with you. See you next time. And bye for now.